start. Ah, Lord of mercy. YouTube, if you're watching this on a recording, you might want to scoot ahead a few minutes. Uh, had some technical difficulties when starting up and need to wait for my live chatters to find me on another, another link. So it might be a few minutes. Oh my goodness. Just love a, a rough start. And I just rebooted a few minutes ago. Hey CB. Good Lord. Another rough start. I had just, I had a problem with my headphones. Uh, my earphones earlier when I was watching Zandra and uh, hey Susie and um, I had to reboot I thought oh good it'll be fresh when I go down the stream not so but not so good so uh, hey Linda hey Sandy hey Judy so um, yeah we're here I think we're good hey Chris Kathy shiny badge oh a shiny badge kick Judy out of chat badge Oh, my God. Hey, Linda. I'll let pe people gather here for a minute. Ugh, these rough starts on the, these damn things drive me crazy. But, yeah, what are you going to do? I'm here now. So, I was, I mentioned yesterday, or not the yesterday, the other day. Hey, Jackie. Uh, that I couldn't remember which rice papers worked as far as me being able to use that rice paper glue and they go more transparent than others. This is the rice paper glue. Yamato. You can get that on Amazon. Um, it does work really well a lot of times and I'll show you. I used I used this this glue the other day to paste this little bit of scripting down on this collage. And by the way, those of you that didn't want me to put that black circle there, I think that makes the whole thing, the black underneath there, it makes it look like it's throwing a shadow down. At least in person, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but you can still see some of this rice paper, although you can see the background behind it. So that went pretty translucent, but not as translucent as some other ones. So I wanted to have a little... Have a little test run, and I don't know how I'm going to do this without totally kerfuffling it, but uh, we're going to try. So these, I pulled out all the rice papers that I have. This is not rice. This is that bamboo paper I got. Um, it's got that red grit on it, so I'm not all that wild about it, but, you know, whatever. It's got its juices. Hey, Rachel. Let's see who else snuck in here. So I need to figure out, I've got this one. I suspect this may be the one of the ones that goes really translucent because this one is thinner. Nary a word in English on here. These two were Daiso. I got these on Amazon. Hey, Eileen. Hey, Joe. I got these on Amazon. And uh, they're both produced for Daiso Japan up here it says the one in the turquoise it's called specialty calligraphy paper um 100 sheets of it it wasn't that expensive it was a few bucks seven dollars maybe something like that I don't remember I could be totally lying um and it's pure white and this one is very similar as you see it's the orange paper and it's off-white see the difference in the color so that's those two. This one is a pack of rice paper I bought at the Queen's Inc. years ago. There's nothing possible here in English. I don't know. I suspect this one might be a good one too. But I don't know what it is and I don't. I have a few sheets of it. I found this in my stash, indigo blue rice paper. Um, I don't know where I got it, but, you know, got it somewhere. Indigo blue. Hey, Dot. Who's here, Terry? Oh, hey, Terry. Oh, plastic wax treatment on rice paper would do the trick. I don't know what that is unless you're talking about Daddy Vans. That's the only thing I've done on tissue, and that's, oh, wow, this is really, 
That's really different. That doesn't even feel like rice paper. They might be lying. I don't know. And then I have this one. And this is from Yasutomo and Company. Um, this is 100 sheets, 9.5 by 13, blah, blah, blah. But this is the same as some of my inks that I have. The Yasutomo. Right? So probably could find this. So let's just make a little stack. How in the hell am I going to do this without getting all discombobulated? Um, I was going to script on it, like just maybe just one line on each sheet and let it dry and then come back to it and try to put it over some background, right? So let's just do that. Let's go one at a time and Let's just see what happens, even if it's wrong. Uh, I'm going to see one of my brushes. I'm going to use one of my um, one of my Lebanon brushes here, and I know which one I want. I'll toggle between these two. <laughs> That'll work. What's this? I could use any of them and I get a similar result. I think they're really sweet brushes. So that's Lebenzon, L-E-B-E-N-Z-O-N. Um, and I'm going to put some Sumi ink in here. Do I have any out here? I got everything, but hang on. Let me go to my Sumi ink drawer. <laughs> I'll have... Um, I'll have links to the Lebanon paint uh, paintbrushes site and coupon code below. The coupon is my first name, Patty with an I, P A T T I, um, and that's twenty percent off the entire site. If you are interested in a artisan made, handmade brush, he has synthetic brushes that you can also use with acrylics as well as inks and watercolors, um, and he has uh, several different natural hair brushes where they recommend not to use that with acrylics because of the buildup. Um, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff from $20 to $400. So there's something in there for everybody. And um, you see, if you look at Robin McClendon's video from just yesterday or the day before, she did, um, she was using some Arteza metallic watercolors and she was using some of uh, Tracy's brushes as well. Um, why am I over here? What was I going to go? Oh, sue me in. Don't anybody tell me. I'll figure it out eventually. Well, where's the one that I wanted? I'll just use this. I'll use, oh, there it is behind the black. Well, whatever. Here we go. Oh, there, Gala just put up the link. Thanks, Gala. Hey, Green. Good day. So I'm going to put some in here. These, this little tray, these, this stone, um, I got this on Amazon for like 11 bucks and the ink stays wet in there for quite a while. And this isn't sealed. I mean, I mean, it's a cover, but it's not airtight or anything. I was surprised at how long the air, the, um, the ink stays inky in there. So let's, let's give this a go, shall we? Ah, Judy. Yeah, get her lined up. Oh, my God. Might need to phone a friend. You never know. So this is the indigo blue. They're calling it rice paper. Um, I'm not accusing anybody of false advertisement, but it doesn't feel like rice paper to me. And I got, oh, it's folded. So it's a gigantic sheet that was folded. Okay, well, there you go. Um. That's why it says A3, 10 sheets. Now, I just saw that. I assume this is A3. But let's just tear it because I don't need this whole piece. It's just going to get in my way. And you know what that's going to mean. It's going to have ink and crap all over it. Zandra had a really fun stream today and cost me a lot of money. So I understand people are saying that's payback for me always enabling them. I guess that's okay. 
I'm going to shove this back in here if possible. Patty, watch the morning coffee post on Patreon for May 12th. I'm behind, so I may not might not have seen that one. Give me a hint, Carrie. I might, I don't know, May 12th, am I that far back? I might be sure. Payback. Come on, CB, whose side are you on? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Indigo blue. So let's, I'm going to take, what can I write on down here? Will this write on it? There we go. I'll write indigo blue on there. The legendary Queen's Ink. I know, right, Joan? That's all I need. Hey, April. Hey, Libby. <laughs> so encaustic and making your papers translucent, but not waxy. It's a 20 minute demo. Oh, okay. That's on the, um, on her. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good to know. I guess I'm not there yet because I didn't see that. So I'm going to use this one. This is the, um, is it the one I want? This is the one I wanted. This is the, um, Siberian elk, I believe it is. Uh, three quarter inch. So, and I haven't scripted in so long. It's probably going to be a lot of squirrely gigs here. And like Terry said, I'm trying to really load this up with ink. You can't see it, I'm sure. But I saw a couple bubbles come out of there. Even the synthetic hairs, he said, will hold. Air bubbles will be held in there the way he creates these brushes. Not intentionally, but that's what that's a side effect of what happens here. But um, if you pounce them in your liquid and water and whatever and get those bubbles out, that brush will hold a lot more ink and be a lot more. It'll go along a lot far, farther with one load. So let's just see. I think this is going to go right through to my newsprint, but we'll see. OK. Oh, wow. That doesn't even act like rice paper. Huh, that's weird. Yep, it is going right through. It's very sheer. See how sheer this stuff is? And I don't... Maybe I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> Let's flip her over. See what happens. That's it. Yep, I think I had it on the wrong side. <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. This is really unusual. I can't. The back does feel smoother. So I do think this is the way that that's supposed to go. I think this was on the wrong side. I don't see much difference in the way it acted, but regardless, indigo blue. Scripted and off to decide. Now we have this unknown. Uh, if anybody reads Japanese, please feel, feel free to. Let me know where to get more of this. This is what I got at Queen's Inc. years ago. I was taking a, um, it does look like tissue, but it, it does have a, a, one side has that more slick feel to it. I don't know. This I can definitely tell. This is much heavier. Even though it's still lightweight, it's heavier than that. That was very fine and sheer. There's an app for that. What's there an app for? Hey, Josie. Hey, Amalia. So this is, oh God, I'm going to put QI. I don't know which one that is. That's from the Queen Sink. So let's just try this and see where we go. Um, gosh, I can't, I, it's like my hand doesn't even know where to start.
It's funny. I kind of make the same characters over and over again. All right. That's the Queen's Ink one. That's definitely... Um, feels more like rice paper. This is one of the Dysos. This I know was readily available on Amazon. Oh, for reading Japanese, there's an app. Oh, I bet there is. Never even thought about that. Point your phone at the writing and it will translate. I'm going to do it. I know. <laughs> I should do that with my pictographs. Lord only knows what we've been seeing for years on there. <laughs> I like the feel of this bamboo. Um, I'm trying to make big characters just to get something down here. And um, whoop, almost dropped at that time. All right, this is Daiso White, obviously. Oh, where am I going to go? I'm going to run a spreading out room here. I don't want to stack them on top of each other. This is the other Daiso that's the off-white color. I have a feeling that this one's not going to go. Sorry, you missed that symbol. What? <sighs> Come on now. This, I really don't see this um, going to translucent since it's already kind of got that dingier color to it. I'm just going to put Daiso in there. I damn sure know what that is. Okay. Um, I was going to say something. I forgot what it was. All right, that's a Daiso. They really are Libby. They're they're like works of art themselves for sure. Um, so this, I'm gonna put this at the end. This I suspect is one of the goodies, and I gotta figure out. I'm gonna have to download that app. Oh, sorry. Whoops! Hit the camera. Where's everybody going? Uh, this has a really slick side and you can definitely tell what side is the right side we got no English but I'm guessing I don't know I'm not I don't know what I'm guessing I probably got it on Amazon but I'll have to go back and look at that Okay, here we go. Um, that's this unknown soldier. See, that goes right through that one. We'll put that on that unknown soldier right there. I'm trying to stagger them now because I'm running out of room. This one is the Yasumoto. I was thinking like how to how to go um, you can tell the rice papers have a real smooth surface and it's the one that's more textured and feels drier and not as slick as the one that you write on. This is the Yasutomo 
one. So, um, Or these are coming right through. That's that one right there. Oh, I didn't write what that one was. Yasso. I'm just going to put Yasso. Because when we start gluing these down, it's going to get a little cray cray. Um, Happen bargain Chinese Japanese calligraphy brush calligraphy assume your favorite inks stamping paper made good lord that's a mouthful did you have a link for that one Gala so this is that bamboo paper and the only reason I ended up this is also Xandra's fault <laughs> um she saw we always we bought pigments before at Pigment Tokyo pigments are not cheap and the shipping was ridiculous. Um, and then they came out on Instagram showing this new um, bamboo paper that they had. And I thought, I'm not going to pay for that shipping just to try to pack a rice a bamboo paper. So I thought um, I would try one I saw on Amazon. And then when it came in, it had this red grid on it, which I understand is for practice for calligraphy. I write way bigger than that when I'm scripting. Um, but it doesn't feel like neither side, I'm, I'm sure this is the side to use, um, but neither side has that slick feel to it. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but since it's on one of those type of papers, hey, Devin, hey, Pat, I'm just going to throw down and see what happens. All right, so let's just hmm. All right, let's just do that. So I have what two, four six, seven different types of paper. So now I was trying to figure out how are we going to do this gluing test? Pray tell. Get the ink out of my lovely brush. Oh, I forgot to use my other one. This is a silver fox one. Oh, well, if we need it again, we'll use it. But I've got, and I'll remind me and I'll show you all these brushes. If anybody's interested in seeing more of these and I have prices on some of them and what they're made of and all that kind of good stuff. We will do that, but someone's got to remind me I will not be responsible for myself. Let's put that out of the way there. So I was thinking that maybe I would just go on this journal that I'm going to do eventually collage in and maybe just take one of my jelly prints that I really like, make a background of it, and then make that the, um, the Daiso page or whatever and try to glue over top of jelly print to see how translucent it is. Groovy. Hey, Johnny. Joni. Oh my God. Now I'm backwards again. I can't remember. <laughs> but hello. Miss Horn. Let's just do that. And I know you told me through Etsy. It's gone. Okay, so I think that's what I'll do. Lord knows I've got enough jelly prints to commit to doing this. So let's just... Here's my most recent stack. This is ridiculous. What the hell am I going to do with this paper? Look! This is cray-cray. Oh, this is one of my papers. i got to... I gotta remember, put that there to remind me to do something. So, like, see something plain like this for a background? I could use that for that. All right. I did take pictures of that one. Some of these are rather precious. <laughs> um, I could use one of these because I have many of these. 
Uh, let's see. This one, I really got some crusty bits off of that bad boy. You guys remember that one? Look at all that. Hello, lover. I took pictures of that one, too. Let's try this. Oh, let me put this tissue up in the tissue department. Oh, look. Paper towel. He's probably looking for that at some point. That's this. This is onion skin. I'm not wild about that one. I'm wild about that one. Let's just do some. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that may be too precious. This is on rice paper. I wonder about gluing rice paper to rice paper. Let's use this one. I love this one. That was just like a cleanup print, but oh, that's got a lot of yummy bits in there. I have to figure out how to sort this stuff. Like, sweet mama. Like, by color, by whether it's a background or more of a focal, not focal image, but, um, you know, up a layer from the background kind of thing. <sighs> or types of paper. I don't know. It's so, I have so freaking many of them. It's ridiculous. I might throw that one down. What the hell? That's kind of plain. Love that one. Maybe I'll use that one. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello. That's what I got. That's what I needed. But I mean, I got, I really, are there some of Robin's printables? It's Riddick. Riddick. Oh, here's some of the, oh, wait a minute. Here's some of these back here on that painter's paper. Maybe I'll use one of those. Oh, this is, what is that? That's on tracing paper. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll use that. <laughs> oh, crap. This one was cool. I like that shadowy looking bit there. Okay, let's squirrel. Squirrel ran down the rabbit hole. Okay, so let's let's get to her. Let's get to her. Let me get a piece of deli over here. Get that out of my way. Get this out of my way. Yeah, you're right. CB, why do you always have to be the boss? I was thinking in my head that it would show up. The transparency would show more, not so much the scripting. But you're right, as usual, everybody's got to listen to CB. She's always a smart one. Blah, blah, blah. You know, when will I learn? I only say that because I love CB dearly. She knows it. All right, we'll see what I got here, and then we'll go we'll go deeper if we must. Hey, Eminem. Okay, let's tear some of this extra off of here. One thing about this tracing paper, it does tear nicely. I like how that kind of goes trails off on that white over there. So that's okay. It's okay for me. April, sorted by paper type. Tissue, rice, deli, paper, copy, and card. And then all your colors and sizes are all just jumbled up, just types of paper. See, I don't usually care what kind of paper it's on. If you are using it to compare translucent papers, wouldn't you want the same for each type of paper being compared? Um, not really. I think if you can see through it, Sandy, you can pretty much see through it. I think. 
We'll try it and see what happens. I'm probably wrong, as I am the vast majority of the time. <laughs> but I, I want to try to back, go back and make collages out of them. I don't want... Um, Eileen C. B. Gala Joan, you paying attention? <laughs> um, I don't want to um, have all the backgrounds the same and then having to collage over all of them. Thank you. That was timed out. We'll see if they come back. Hey, Shauna. So anyway, let's just try it. I just didn't want to bore myself with the same backgrounds. And if you can see through it, you can see through it. Um, oops. Oh. Unless I could, I'm thinking here because for you guys, that might be a better comparison on the same exact background. But what would that background be? thinking maybe I could just do something on a very large piece of paper or something. Hey, Shirley. Wouldn't it be better to put it on paper as samples? Uh, not smart enough to follow you there, Shirley. Tell me what you mean. You mean just to keep for future reference? I did this one in errors. Ouch. I just, I just bone folded my finger. Not sure. <laughs> Eileen takes no prisoners. There are no apologies with Eileen. Let me tell you. Oh, look. I got one of these things. I didn't even know. going to be boring. If you're watching the recording, you might want to skip through. Otherwise, everybody else has to suffer along with me that's live. <laughs> and where did you get the stamps you showed in your video? Marlou! Hello, honey buns. How are you? I know I saw Rachel's video, but I can't remember. Was that, that a recent... Um, I'll have to watch for her answer. A recent stamp haul? I, I know I saw a stamp haul a while back. And I know the last time I saw a bunch of stencils and I think some products, but I don't remember stamps. Which is about par for the course for my memory. So, you know. Oh, good. Good to hear, Laurie. She's the Hall Queen. She is the Hall Queen. You can see I'm not being too 
if I see I don't measure anything, I kind of eyeball it. Sometimes my eyeball's good, sometimes not, and that's okay. It's too cattywampus, I'll cover it with something, a future layer. Use this one with my crazy eights and that one of the stencils that Jackie sent me. If you guys don't know Jackie or haven't watched her, she in chat she's Creations by Jay Sherry. You need to check out her YouTube and Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop is the Artisans. I don't know how she's pronounced. Is it Cash or Cache? C A C H E. I've linked it in one of my previous videos, I believe. Oh, the stamps that were innocent bystanders. Okay, this one will be nice and dark for the scripting. Actually, it might be too dark because the scripting, I'll see the paper disappear. I don't know. Rats. See, I always think I have an idea and then, <laughs> and then I don't. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Did you guys see one of Robin's, uh, I think it was a YouTube video recently, where she mentioned maybe doing a scripting webinar to try to coach people on how she does her scripting? You, you can't really, and she said it before, you can't really teach it. It's your own hand. But how to try to, you know, just get in that frame of mind and the movements and stuff. Yep. All right, that's getting a little sticky on that side. Oh, yeah, Xandra cost me some money today. Yes, it was the 12-inch one, by the way, Xandra. It was the 12-inch. Link. I was fighting it this whole time. How many years has it been out? And I didn't get one. I thought, all I need is those little pens. My little quill pens, which I love. But then Tim happened. And then Xander happened. I'm so easily swayed. We we all know this. Uh, Jackie, I should blame that on you, too. <laughs> After I saw what you sent me, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be needing more of that. And then when you said you didn't sell it, and I thought, oh, crap, I'm going to have to figure this out. <laughs> I'm sure I won't regret it. And I actually, for... For the machine, at least, I had birthday money from my mom that I haven't been anywhere to spend and didn't really know of anything I wanted to spend it on. And uh, so I did today and some accessories. Oh, hang on one second. I got to do something before I forget. I, 
<laughs> I know. I'm not even a blonde. Hang on one second. I had to do that while it was in my head. 12 and 6. Oh, craft parties you host. I love a good craft party. How many is that? One, two, three. It's only four. Holy crap. So, let's see. I need to pick something. Maybe I'll try this. This is one of Jackie's stencils that she sent me. That one she does sell in her Etsy shop. This one's on onion skin. Onion. slipped out on me. How dare you? Okay. Oops. Well, that's all candy wampus, isn't it? Eh, good enough. Good enough for what I'm doing here. I really, 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 really need to go through, I'm going to use this word loosely, my studio, which is an, in an unfinished basement and is, I've got so much stuff that I don't use, don't plan to use, haven't touched for a while that I need to pass on to a better home. Donna used to teach older women at her church. Um, you guys, most well, Marylanders will know uh, Donna Walsh. Um, and I used to give stuff to her that was left over that didn't to get it donated from the the um, my event every year if we didn't have anywhere else to donate it or. Um, Um, but she doesn't do that anymore since she's, her mom and dad have needed a higher level of care and she's their caregiver. So she hasn't been doing that as much. Um, so I'm not sure. I wanted to donate it to like a children's hospital where they have arts and crafts and stuff. Um, but they don't, I mean, this was a while ago, not since the virus, but they're very uh, picky. And I could one, I couldn't even get them to call me back. Um, how rude is that? But um, it's, you, you can't, it's hard to find a good place to, to give it, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh. 
that was one of the that was a ghost off of one of those really cool prints. I'm not going to use that for that though. I'm not going to use it for an, an experiment. Oh, let's use that. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's too light. Not enough pattern going on there. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, did you buy some of Amalia's? I didn't. I couldn't get to her stream. I was actually Dave and I did a lot of stuff around the house today, and kind of got the deck ready to go. Got our TV uh, installed out there again, and brought up the chairs that are stored under the sunroom for the winter. And uh, we did some watering because we had some seeding done, and. We've just been doing that stuff. And I did see your note, Amalia, and I tried to click on it, but it said restrict. I never saw that before. I don't know why it said restricted. Donate to a women's shelter for the women or your children. Yeah, there was um, there was one of those. I forget what the hell that was called. This has been a few years ago. So, you know, I don't remember what I had for breakfast. So I'd have to look at that. Yeah, I know. There, everything's closed now. But, hey, Becky, I could um, at least start boxing it up for when something does open. And then we just shove it out the door when it's ready to go. But it's, I just, I thought I'd have more time now than I used to have since I'm not going to the office every day. Um, but I have less <laughs> with, with my mom here now and, um, which I'm not complaining. I don't mind it. I'm glad she's here with us because I'd worry too much if she wasn't at this point. But anyway, um, between working from home and helping her out. And, you know, just daily life. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Sweet Moses. Um, I wonder if that would be enough to, I'm going to do it. I just uh, I'm, seem to be busy all day, every day, even on the weekends. Oh, Dave and I had another little parking lot picnic last night. <laughs> we went to one of our favorite little cheesesteak places we used to go to, not often, but a couple times a month probably, and um, went in, picked them up. He said they were really uh, thoughtful about how they did um, the handing and out. He said they wipe down the counters um, as soon as the customer before you left. They wipe down the counters and then they um, handed Dave his food when he paid for it with his debit card. They wiped off his card to hand it back to him and then as soon as he left, they wiped down the counter again before the next person came in. But it was funny when we were out, we took his navigator. He said, you want to take a table and a couple chairs? I said, nah, we don't need to go to that trouble where we should have. Because eating a cheesesteak in the car in your lap, not great. Um, so, um, as we were leaving, we saw a couple with a pickup truck with the tailgate down. Standing at the back of the tailgate, having a little picnic. We stopped and chatted at them for from a distance. But um, now I think one night this week, we're supposed to meet our friends. Uh, Joyce and Johnny used to go over there with us and uh, I think they're going to meet us over there and we'll each take a couple chairs and a couple tables and social distance in the parking lot and have a little uh, have a little parking lot 
picnic. Seven. Sweet Moses. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Put my cap on my glue. I haven't been watching the chat. My bad. Hey, Patty. Oh, hey, Jan. It's watching 60 minutes and thought Patty said she might stream in time. More. That's okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay, we're back here. So, let us begin. And I guess it doesn't matter which... Um, order I go in, right? So we'll just go with what's on top of the pile. How about that? So this is going to be this one. Down here it does say Kiowa. At least it's Arabic letters that you can try to search. So I'm going to, let's see. I'm not going to worry about water cutting this so exact. I'm just going to try to go down here with enough of a streak to pull most of this apart. See how nicely this rice paper tears like that and gives you that real deckly edge on it. Mama, like, now I tore off what it was, so I'm going to have to try to figure out how to how to do that. So this is too long, right? So let's just let's just cut her down a little bit, shall we? Let's go right across there. And I don't want these straight edges. So since that's tearing so nicely, we'll just do that and get rid of the straight edge this way. Okay, so I'm going to have to put a little note down here somewhere because bigger than hell, I'm going to forget it. So I'm just going to do it in pencil. Look at me. Do you see that catch there? Where I thought, no, dummy, don't write it in pen. I mean, I could collage over, I guess, but where? Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. My arms need to be longer. I'm going to put a little note over here what kind that was. And let's get another little patty. Have you tried the Hamsi rice paper? Uh, who knows? <laughs> None of this is in English. Actually, one of them did say that. I think. Yes. The Yasumoto. Yasutomo. This one says Hamsi paper on it. Uh, is it gonna focus? There you go. That one says it. So, oh shit, where's my oh. crap? Hang on. That's this one. Okay. Oh, thought I screwed them up there for a minute. So yeah, there's one of them in the bunch. Okay, let's do this. Get out my glue. No, where's that paper towel I found? Get some of the water out of my brush. Um, I can't tell you off the top of my head, Shauna, because usually I'm either jelly plating on it, not looking at which one I pull out of there. Um, so I don't, I don't know the difference of these seven papers right now, to be honest. I do like the Daiso ones. And I like that one. I know I had it Queen Zinc. The other ones I started to gain uh, stock of those after I started doing the scripting and kind of following Robin and getting more into rice papers and staining them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really... Actually, I found out about the Daiso ones through Robin. 
Um, but I'm not, I can't tell you the difference in what I prefer at with the Hanzi for sure. Okay, let's just throw this somewhere on here. Getting ready for another more, more collage elements in the future. For now, let's just sit you down, tap it, and I'm going to go back over top of it. trying to stay away from the, the ink, but I want to go over it because I don't think for some reason, and it must have something to do with the rice paper because the Sumi ink is water reactive. It will, it will, hey Paula, it will reactivate. But for some reason with this glue and on rice paper, it doesn't seem to do that as you can see. But you do, if you go over the top of this, it will help it even go more translucent. And I do remember the first time I did this, when I was gluing the back of it, I didn't get the, the little frayed edges quite as gluey, and they didn't go near as translucent either. So, all right. So that was this one. I'm going to start stacking these up here as I use them. Um, I'm going to hit this with a heat gun a little bit to dry that so the page doesn't stick to the page before it. Do you have a Daiso in your... We don't. No, Chris. We don't have anyone any near close to us at all. Hey, Linda. Holiday for 10 days. Look at you. dry this up a little bit. That actually went pretty translucent. Looked like it started to pucker a little bit with the heat. I'm going to crank her down a little bit. Hey, Devin. That might take a little minute to. You know what? Maybe I should do multiple ones on one of these pages. Maybe that's what I should do. Because that's still kind of wet. Let's do that to save some time. So I'm going to move this note. Good Lord, that's a hard eraser. Sweet Moses. Holy crap. That's a piece of crap. Holy crap, piece of crap. I'll put a note under there. And look at it's even buckling the paper. This is pretty heavy watercolor paper. Dry from under the side, the under, underside, side under. You remember what paint you used on that background? Uh, wow. Um, let me think about that. I can maybe come close even if I'm not bright. But I'm going to look at this blue and see if it's metallic. I think this blue down here may have been this blick deep no sorry dark deep shoot dark blue deep matte acrylic which is not available anytime soon on dickblick.com you might be able to find it in the store but I think that's what this was and I think over top of it might have been um might have been the Aztec gold Arteza and I think it just kind of 
mutated into nothing up at the top. I might have had a little bit of white in there too. And look, that heat gun lifted all this up. I'm going to need to schmutz some of this under there. Work with me, paper. Work with me. This might end up being a disaster. Wouldn't that be shocking? Oh! Yes, it's Rothko. Like that was what we were doing in Arizona. One of the backgrounds Robin had us doing one of those styles of Rothko. I'd have never remembered that name. But now I recognize that name now that you said it. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, you did a lot of jelly plating yesterday. Good for you. Okay, so now let's grab the next one, which is this indigo blue. It's called rice paper, but it's really different from any of the other rice papers. It's very, it's very thin, very sheer. Um... It does, one side is slicker, like most right, rice papers are. I actually wrote, it's so hard to tell at first. I started writing on the back of it, but this is, this is the right side here. So let's see if we can get this baby cut down a little bit. I imagine this is going to tear pretty easily. It's really feels fragile. All right, I lay that piece up there. Do you like the right a metallic paints? Right, I'm, Randy. I'm not sure. Do you like the right metallic, Arteza metallic paints? Um, yes, I do. Um, they are, for the money, really nice paints. They're uh, more pigmented than you would expect for the price, I think. Um, they're great on the jelly plate. Eh, get off of there. I don't know why I'm being so particular about this. So I won't be really collaging over these in the future, I guess, because now I've got just streaks of scripting on each page here, but it'll only be a couple page, and that's okay. It's my journal. I'll do what I want with it. Paula, you asked me the other night about my small journal. I did a few more. Um collages in there. I'll take a minute and flip through it here in a bit if you wanted to see that. But I just stopped doing it because um, I um, I like the bigger format of this journal that I have laying in front of me right now. So I just stopped doing those in there. Um, that started out just being, I thought, well, I'll just do all the ones with my patina papers in there. Um, I'm wondering if this paper is even going to hold up to this glue. Feels very fragile. <laughs> I laugh when I say that because I remember years ago, one of my first jobs, I was working with somebody that's, um, she was, I was in my early 20s. She was probably in her late 30s at the time, and had been there a long time and was kind of a know-it-all. <laughs> and um, we were doing something with some customs paperwork. I worked at Seagram's 
and I was I used to do the importing of the like Myers Jamaican rum and uh, Canadian whiskeys and different stuff. And I don't remember the word fragile was in something, but taken out of context. I don't even know if I can pick this up. Oh, here we go. And um, I was trying to teach her. We were supposed to be cross training and learning each other's jobs. So I was trying to teach her what my job was. And she said, what fragile? What does fragile mean? <laughs> like, what are you talking fragile? I don't know what you mean. I said, well, it's right here. F-R-A-G-I-L-E. Fragile. What does that mean? I was like, that means fragile. <laughs> I don't know what fragile means. Oops, get down. This one's really hard to work with. I'm not a fan of this one. This is a little too delicate for big girl. I can tell you that. Although it is going very translucent. I really don't even have to go over top of this. I will down here just to see the difference. If there is a difference, I'll go halfway. But that pretty much dropped out of sight as soon as it hit the paper, which I thought it would by the feel of it. Fragile. Yeah, so um, that was indigo blue. Where's my pencil? I'm just going to put I, B. So that one, that one really kind of went bye-bye as soon as it hit the paper with just the glue on the back. And that's the glue on the bottom. Uh, still wet. So let me grab a third choice. And this is the Hansi paper. Is that how you say it? By Yasutomo Company. And I feel like I probably got that on Amazon. Er And rice papers usually aren't very expensive. So let's call that Yasu. Yasu. Hanchi. I need to I need to be watched. I'm almost as bad as the fragile lady. All right, let's see how this one cuts with the water. You can just see this water really bleed out on this paper. Wow. off a little bit. Uh, which one? Gala, which one? The one I already put down there? Or this one I'm working on? Taos, Judy. <laughs> Taos is in blouse. <laughs> I like Taos better. It sounds more Southwestern for some reason. Don't ask me why. What the hell do I know about the Southwest? Other than there must be a problem with the gravity there because Gala had a hard time standing upright. That's all pretty much I know about that. <coughs> Got the name already. Okay, good. All right. Is this wet? That's wet. Flip her over. And this... That is the back. Okay. Let's see what happened with this one. Oop, put my hand in. It's still wet. Geez, these are, oh, hell's bells. You were pushed by a, a silent and unseen enemy.
Oh, that's maybe a little fragile. <laughs> Tore that sucker right in half. Well, let's put this piece down before it gets even more discombobulated here. Come on. This is the Han Chi. All right. Oh, this is a lot more for Gile than it looks. <laughs> wow. I got glue boogers all over my hands. Holy mackerel. Well, we're going to just... Gee Louise, hang on. I'll try to go back and hit these edges a little bit more. See that? Well, this one's kind of difficult. See, this one got some air bubbles under it, and you can see where that's still white there because it was just, oh, I just ripped the tip off of that character. Okay, so uh, Shauna, to answer your question, for the way I'm using this now, not a big fan of that one. And I would give it another go just in case it was me dicking it up, but yeah, hang on. I gotta get my gotta get the schmutz off my fingers. Oh sticky fies. Let's see, what do I miss here? Do you eat ice cream after eating Mexican food? As you do. A be a buy a bow and a bop. Sure, that's Dairy Queen with a curl on top. Does that give you nightmares now, Xandra? I mean uh Gala. <laughs> Yeah, it is for G-Lay. Uh, I thought the Indigo Blue was for G-Lay, but this Yasutomo was even more of a problem, and it was so fragile that I wasn't able to get glue under the whole thing because it kept falling apart. She finished the ice cream. She was disposing of her garbage. I, however, was in, in mid-cone and could not afford uh, any ice cream incidents. And I do believe that the rest of them were laughing too hard. I don't think I was. I think I was eating my ice cream and praying that she was okay. If I remember correctly. I've been known to be wrong. Yeah, I'm not uh, not loving that. Now you can see as these are drying, you can see a little bit more of this texture of this one. Um, this one here is still pretty transparent. This one here, eh, not so much. So I'm going to put a piece of deli down here so I can we can carry on. Clearly, I'm not going to use all seven of these backgrounds at this point. Uh-oh. I have to sacrifice another piece of deli so we don't have any catastrophes. <laughs> right? See, April remembers. All right, let's see. What the hell am I doing now? Now we will move to this unknown one that I bought years ago with the Queen's Ink. 
So I'm just going to write on here. Here. QI. Patty, can you show the package for the indigo blue middle one? Sure. Fabulous for watercolor, stamping, and printing. These are A3 sheets that were folded in half. So it's twice this size. It folded out once I took it out of the package. I was wondering why it wasn't coming out just as an individual sheet, and that's why. But that's that's all the packaging. That's what it looks like. Okay, this puppy. You're welcome. Okay, this is this one. This one actually cuts really nice with the water. All of them were pretty good actually with that. Patty, you like that paper when I got it a few years ago? Um, which one, Eileen? The, the indigo blue? Hell, I don't know, Shauna. I think that's, I've probably had that uh, eight years or so. It was in a stash. I think I got that when I was into the Stamp Zia spray inks spray uh you know the spray inks that she had years ago and i think um i think that's where that came from i think she had that on her site as well <laughs> you got ditch judy all right let's see Let's just go down to here. We don't need to do a whole elaborate thing for this test. Let's just do that. I don't know. I've got glue on top of glue on top of glue. This, I remember when I got this at the Queen's Inc. Uh, Fred B. Mullet was there teaching a class. And we did some cards, and we used some of the rice paper on the cards with different techniques that he did. I still have the cards. Actually, I I found them uh, while I was reshuffling some stuff when Dave and I moved that those huge flat files um, that I got from Rachel's flat file guy. <laughs> um, and I still really like them. And I'm not, a, you guys know I'm not a card person. I had a hell of a time making them. Seems you can get Indigo Blue, but still by all stores or in the UK. Yeah, it was a shame that she's passed. Pat Cook that's on here sometimes. I think, Rachel, you took a class with Pat at Queen's Inc. with Seth not too long ago, and she had a Stamp Zia stamp that I would I would pay good money for that stamp. It was a very abstract, skinny line, long, kind of a scripting-looking thing. 
just the kind of a little squiggly pop that you want here and there. And um, do you have that stamp, Eileen? Have you ever looked for it? Because I'm coming to Boca. Next time I come to Boca, huh, forget about it. So you can already see the background through there. It's a little frosting of the of the white paper, not much at all. But we'll see what happens when that dries. And that was the stuff I got at Queen's Ink that we don't know what the hell it is. So let's do this is oh yeah, this is the Daiso white. Where's the Daiso off-white? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is Daiso. All right. This is this one. From Amazon. I'm sure you can buy it on their website. But when I saw it there, you had to buy 10 packs. And even that at that, the price wasn't bad. But the shipping from there kills you. Yeah, that Rachel, wasn't that awesome stamp? Um, I'll send you an image of it, Eileen. It's just like a long, it's one line that's just kind of long with a couple swiggles in it. It just kind of, I don't know. It looks like maybe it's six inches long. Rachel can tell you more than I can about it, I think. Yes, they're green rubber. And I have a few of them, but nothing like that. Fred, as in Fred B. Mull. Yep, it was old Fred B that we did his class. I'll show you those cards if I have time and think about it again. Huh. Not that they're anything that special, but. It was a big deal to me doing a card. there oh she's looking I'm, I'm flying down to Boca this weekend I did get to meet Eileen in person in Boca one time a few years ago most of you guys probably remember that we used to go to uh, for work every November we have a national sales conference and for a number of years it was at a resort in Boca and that's where Boca Babe lives, believe it or not. So a friend of hers brought her over to the resort. And we got to hang out for a couple of hours at the bar, of course. Yeah, it's a very long, linear, single-line script stuff with beauty mess. I think those might be reusable somewhere one day, somehow. All right. Eileen's probably got it. She's got everything. But if we ever go back to Boca for that meeting... We ever go anywhere for another meeting at this rate but if we ever go back to boca i think i'm going to raid her residence somebody will have to send me off the fake her out get her address for happy mail <laughs> it's probably a p.o box <laughs> can't get much by eileen now this is this one is nice to handle so far but I think the ones that are going to be nicer to handle are the ones that are going to show a little bit of the, a little bit of the paper through the glue. We shall see.
What's the name of that glue again? Yamato, Y-A-M-A-T-O. I'll show you the jar in a second. The jar reminds me of Christmas. It's a green label with red writing on it. My least favorite color combination. Nothing against Christmas. I just am not a fan of green and red. And I know, I know it's one of the ones. Color wheel, that's the best. Colors, complimentary colors. Not a fan. Yeah, this one I can still see pretty well. Although I can see the pattern through it. Uh, huh, Libby, it's paintandpaperstudio.com. Somebody will put the link up here for you. But you can still see that a trace of that paper, although you can see that you do see through it. All right, so we'll see what happens when they dry. So let's do the other Daiso, the off-white one, right next to that. been burning through my uh, deli paper lately. I might have to invest in the uh, very expensive lot on Amazon I found. There you go. CB just put it up there. Yeah, right, Jackie? I'm with you. Oh, I was going to show you the label, wasn't I? See how rude I am? That's the label for the glue. Here's search glue. But which, which deli paper was it at BJ's? I don't think they have the quick wrap that I like. Sam's Online was the only one that had that. And I don't see it there anymore. Um, they used to have it. And when I, well, I told you guys this a hundred times. But when I first got it, I got a carton of five boxes of 1,000 each. So I got 5,000 sheets for $15 free shipping. And that sucker, I bet it weighed 30 pounds. Um and we got that for free shipping. Um, so it was $3 for a box of 1000 And then, Joan, I think I got you some. And somebody else that was coming for the art weekend, um, you know, several years ago, I picked up some. And I think, I want to say it was like $19.99 then for one box of 1000 Hey, Kath. And now I never see it online at Sam's anymore. And uh, Amazon, it was like a hundred bucks for that same. Well, it would have been 19, you know, I guess that makes sense. $19 for 1000, but you can't buy the one. You got to buy five rat bastards. Cut this one off down the bottom. Yeah, I thought you got a box. I'm not sure who else got some. Might have been, I don't know. Like I said, I don't remember what the hell I had for breakfast. How am I going to remember that? Although I do remember Joan. So that's something. Get some credit for that. <laughs> you got some too, April? I mean, from when I bought it for Joan when she showed up for the retreat a few years ago. I bought it for her and had it stashed here. And that was probably Orla because I think it was for internationals that couldn't get it that I, I did that for. I believe. Okay, this is the off white from Daiso. Yep, 
Yeah, CB, there you go. See? Confirmation. Now, this background with this off-white paper, I think, is actually blending better than the white one did. You see that cool white under the one in the center? And this one uh, is um, kind of blending in more with that beige background. Oop, get off of there. Patty tweeted you the stamps I have. I'll be checking that, Eileen. Thanks for looking. Get most of the moisture off of here. Now I just have that one bamboo page to do. What time is it? 8.37. It's almost plunder time. Oh, Eileen. Ah, you got him. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you decide to sell them, my friend, let me know. I'll be willing to pay a dear price for them. And if you don't want to sell them, put them in your will, assuming I outlive you. <laughs> and if you don't want to put me in your will, I'll send you some money to stamp me some images and send them. I'll go with any of those options. Other than that, I'm gonna to have to raid the I'm gonna to have to raid the house in Boca. So that's up to you. I knew you'd have them. I knew it. I knew it. Bye, Green. Have a good night. Morning. Morning, I guess. There's four of them that she has, Rachel. It must have been a set. Oh, my mouth. My mouth. I'm having a little spittle collect at the corners of my mouth, and my hands are a little shaky thinking about them. This one is drier than these are. Isn't that funny with that beige paper? These are still sticky, and that one's almost dry. That was the last one I put in. Okay, Eileen, you're up. Kaboom. To the coib. There you go. Thank you, Gala. Uh oh, you just timed her out. You didn't kick her out. She'll be back. Possibly. Eileen, which one? Don't tell her, Eileen. You know how CB is. Okay, here's this. With the red stripes. She has a system. She's got to have a system. She'd never find anything. I never met her in person. I just, somehow I found her online when I was into the, ooh, spraying, spraying. I was doing lamp work. And I went to one class of Diane Reevely, I think, at Queen's Inc. And you know what I was thinking is that, hey, this might be an easy way for me to <coughs> make some cool tags for my lamp work jewelry with the, the sprays and different stuff she was doing. And then I went crazy over that and ended up stopping lamp work and never did make it. Well, I did make some tags out of it. But. I just sold most of my lamp work stuff recently. I love doing it, but it became like a second job, which I, and rather than a hobby passion to do it. And I'm like, no, can do. Ain't gonna do it. Oh, so now Eileen's gonna be acting like she's been using them and can't let them go. Way to go. You got four of them. <laughs> 
trying to guilt her. Is she is she wavering? Can anybody tell? <laughs> oh, what's this? This is the bamboo paper. That's this one. I got this one. I got this on uh, Amazon. It doesn't tell you much, but it, it I, I searched bamboo paper, and this is what came up. Easy you. That kind of a little bit like CB. Her bar name. <laughs> I was going to put that whole thing on there and try to go down the middle to see what happens where it's a little bit lighter through this section here. Oh, Lordy. I know she'll hold them all over my head forever. What do you want of mine? I'll give you Oakley. <laughs> This seems pretty sturdy as I rip it off the page. He's really cute, Eileen. He is a photogenic little sucker. Oh, he was a handful the day. I was full of piss and vinegar, man. Could have brained him. Every once in a while, it comes back. And then he'll turn around and be just as sweet and lovable as he could possibly be. This one, I'm not sure how translucent this baby's going to go. Now a little bit when you wet the top. We'll see when they dry because it is different once they dry. I think when they finally dry down, they're a little bit less translucent than they are when they're wet. <laughs> then CB, you're going to have to, you can have him. You can have Oakley if you get me Eileen stamps. <laughs> <laughs> just one or two of them. I don't want all four. Well, I do want all four, but I'm reasonable. Okay. Put this away. Put that in some water. Get the boogers off my fingers. If I can. <coughs> he is a handsome rascal. That's what say on the day like today, that's what saves him. He can be ornery. Ornery, ornery. All right, let's hit this bad boy with a gun. Oh, I meant to bring this to show you guys. Teresa Peterson. She was on Z-Stream today and actually won one of her uh, giveaway. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a Klondike alarm. Let me text Dave and make sure he's on Klondike duty. You don't want to slip on that. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Question mark. <laughs> Send that to my husband. Anyway, Teresa sent me a nice letter and this card that she didn't sign or anything so that it can be reused. She put a note in it and signed the back where she made it. But look how pretty this is. That copper against all that teal and green. Really pretty. i got to put this in a safe place. There we go. Hey, Gilly. Really pretty. Hey, uh, hey, the Odal. <laughs> I don't know whose name that is. Okay, so let's let's see. This is bamboo. Let me get another piece of clean jelly in here.
Let's go back to the first page. So, so far, the indigo blue on this page is still pretty translucent. You can see a different sheen on the paper. The center one is the indigo blue. And if I hit the light just right, you can see the sheen of where the paper tore. But look at this one. That was that Yasutomo. That was really fragile and did not cooperate. This was not, this handled nicely, but you do see the shadow of where the paper is. However, you also can see the background through it. So it's cloudy, but transparent-ish. So if you want just transparency and you don't care about anything else, so far it's the indigo blue. And here, whoop. So I think this was unfair for this beige paper because it's on kind of a beige background. So I think that kind of blended a little bit more than the white next to it. You can see the coolness of the white and then the warmness of this one kind of blended in. It's transparent, but there's a cloud around it where you can see where the paper was, which I don't really mind that so much, actually. Um, this one against this, you can see the stark white of that looks even more cloudy because it contrasts more with the background. And the same for the one at the Queen's Ink. I think that might be a hair more translucent. Yeah, there, there's it's more translucent than the um, than either one of the Daisos. But nobody knows what it is. I got to get that app. What order did you place, Libby, for paper? Patty, do you have any gas? I don't, Eileen. And you know what? You mentioned that to me before, and I looked it up, and I think it was just expensive. And I, something about it, not that I haven't bought expensive papers, but something about it, um, Judy gave you the link. See you, Larlo. Take care, honey. It is expensive. Okay, that's maybe what it was then that I decided not to get it. I'll have to look at it again. Maybe I'll buy you some Gampy paper in exchange for those stamps. <laughs> Just a couple. I mean, I don't need all four. Well, I do, but I'm not going to. I'll settle for less. <laughs> and this one. Meh. I'm not a fan of the red the way it tore through there. But I mean, that's just, that's what it is, right? I didn't know that. It's got the red grid. Some people might like that. I'm not a fan right in this particular usage for it. But I guess it's got its place. It is, see, it is translucent. See it right through there. You can really see the design in the back. But when you look at the black bits of the stencil, the Crazy 8 stencil under that, you can see where it clouds out, where it goes under the paper. So. I think my vote would be, I think the ones on this page, the two Daisos and the Queen's Ink one. If I figure out what the hell that is, I'll let you guys know. I'll have to figure out how to download this, what app that is, and see if I can translate it. This one, mm, I'd have to do that again to try to see if I was hosing it up or if that's just how that works. Three roll Gampy 250. Done. When I hit the lottery, those stamps are mine. And you can Gampy yourself to, into a frenzy. So, yeah, so these aren't still aren't all the way dry. Um, Dave gave me the high sign. Operation Klondike successful. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to go see if I can. Oh, my God. I need a, some kind of a. Oh, I sat too long. Oh, I need like a tether to go over on the, the dark side. I really need to do something about this crap. It's driving me cray cray. Oh, here they are right on top. What do you know? 
Let me just grab this whole thing. I'll show you a couple of these and then I'm going to skedaddle. Oh. So I had this shoe box thing here full of different kind of cards. But these are these are the ones we did with some of that paper. And I can't even remember what the hell we did. But he had different stencils and templates and stuff that we used. And um, this was one of them. He had all these different vases and different stuff. That we used for backgrounds. And we used that rice paper that I got at Queen's Inc. Which is why I thought I had to have more. And there's another one. That pot again. I like that pot. And see, I still like my turquoise and copper. <laughs> Here's a poppy. Hey, that kind of looks like my poppies. Huh. I wonder what copper we splattered. That's pretty coppery. Here's another vase. Oh, look, purple and teal. Mm. Who would have thunk it? But anyway, that was those. And the, what is this? Oh, these were, um, I think that was from the same thing. The same class, actually. We had jelly prints. Or was this with Terry? I don't remember. But this was little jelly prints that we made little cards out of. Yeah, see, there's my um, my uh, what's that stuff called? Hey, Nancy! Not cross stitch. What is that called? The canvas that I used, you know, on my jelly plate. I was using it back then. That was probably eight or nine years ago. And then apparently oh, look what that's backed with. That paper. Remember that one, Gayla? I snuck some of that in your cart at Dick Blick. <laughs> um, apparently, I thought that was frameable at the time. What do you know? A little historical look at my card making history. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, that plastic canvas stuff. What is that for? Needlepoint. Needlepoint? Is that right? I think that's right. Get in there. Come on, there we go. I should probably slide these in there too. Give them a little protection. They made it this long. Couldn't tell you how we did that. <laughs> oh, these are more of the, I don't know, I guess the blanks. And here's my, uh, these are my old jelly print cards. Remember when I got on that kick of making jelly prints on cardstock and then using my envelope? My We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker. And I was making tons of these note cards of all different kinds of prints. Um, and then I would make a little note card and put a little strip of the same uh, jelly print on the note card so they each kind of match. I put a little double-sided tape in there. And then I used to give them away as little bundles of girlfriend's gifts. And stuff like that. I've still got a ton of these. I guess I should keep giving them away. A bunch of black and white ones. These are old jelly prints. Yes, I was on that kick for quite some time. I like the envelope maker. And then these, um, these are ones, these were pre-made cards, but I just, I did jelly prints on sticker paper that had round stickers on it and then just pulled the sticker. Well, this one's unwrapped. I can show you this one better. Maybe. This is on craft, obviously, but I did a whole jelly print and then I pulled the stickers off and put them on the flap of the envelope and then on the front or somehow on a card and made little sets like that. That's the extent of my card making. <laughs> I had a bunch more of these and I just gave them away somehow. 
Oh, this is one of my favorite prints ever. Little pictographs and gold on there. That one came out good. There you go. My card career in one shoe box. <laughs> put these back over on the dark side. Oh, sweet Moses. Mama is jacked up today for some reason. My knee has been acting up and it feels like it's at the least time when I expect it. When I turn a little bit too quickly and I don't mean doing anything athletic. I mean just turning in the kitchen. My right knee feels like it's going to come out of socket and do a face plant. I've almost fallen a couple times. So I'm kind of gimped up with that. Walking a little, a little jacked up. Now, how am I going to keep these? Let's try to do this so they're not putting any weight on each other. There we go. Good enough. Oh, so I am in process of working with um, KP to get my uh, next set of um, pictographs on rubber stamps. And sometime in June, some of my designs are going to come out on the foamies, the art foamies, which I think will be really cool on the jelly plate because that's when I did have smart foamies, not mine, but other ones that I bought, I loved using them on the jelly plate where you can remove paint with them. We'll play with that when they come in. Anyway, oh, I wanted to show you. I told you I was going to show you these brushes real quick. So we'll go over this real quick. If anybody has a question, let me know. These are the Tracy Lebanon brushes. I did not buy all these. He sent me a lot of these just to play with and to be able to show you guys. The different brushes that he has. Um, so these orange hair ones and the brown, some of the browns, brown, are synthetic and you can use those for anything. Okay. So these, these are the different synthetic ones that I have. And he has plenty more of these. Um, these are the Wangi, 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 W-A-N-G-I type of bamboo. This one has his name burnt in there. So it's LebanzonPaintBrushes.com. Gail had just put the link up again. It's LebanzonPaintBrushes.com. Hey, I am too, Joan. Uh, this is in th synthetic. Um, this one's fifty-five dollars. With this, the this is a more expensive bam bamboo, um, and it has uh, a bigger brush head. I don't. Uh, this doesn't say what size that is, but I think that's a medium. Here's another Wanji that's a brown synthetic, um, and they look like they're like the bristles aren't pointy. However. When you get those bad boys wet and get the air shaken out of them, they come down to a, a nice point. So don't be put off by the way the bristles look like they're frayed. This one's a really nice one. This one is $25. It's a small brown synthetic. This is the one I showed you that day a few streams ago where it held so much, so much ink. I just went and made lines and lines and lines over like a page and a half. Um, and this one's $25. This is a small brown synthetic with a shorter bristle. Er, sorry. Get in the frame. All right. So that's what they are. This one is. Ah, this was one of the ones I bought. I took the labels off the ones I bought. And I know that this one is elk. This is the one I was scripting with today. This one. I think that's elk also with a longer uh, bristle. I think this this one's a three quarter. This one's an inch. And this one I think is goat. Is that a goat and synthetic blend? 
you old goat. I think it is. I think it's similar to this one. And I unfortunately took the labels off the ones that I purchased, which were those. And then he's also got natural hair. Like the this is a silver fox. And on his website, he explains the great process and detail that he goes through to where he gets the animal furs, how they're processed, what he does to them. So these are more expensive. This one is $70. Um, if you saw Robin's video, the, the brush she uses to script with, she said is now close to 30 years old. And she uses it every day to script with. Um, let's see what else. This is a goat and synthetic blend. And the, the Wanji, this one's 55 as well. I think that's a medium. Looking at that, I'm pretty sure it is. This was one of the special ones that I bought. Um, that's a, what is that called? Green bamboo. And I think that was, I think that's sable that's in there, actually. What are these? This is Russian sable. And again, it looks kind of splayed out there. But when you get it whisked around in some water, get the bubbles out, you can see what kind of point it goes down to. A really fine point. You can get micro thin lines with that. This one's 70, but this is a small Russian sable. So the natural hair ones are more expensive naturally. Naturally for the natural hairs. What's my favorite? I like the one I was scripting with for scripting actually. And that is the three quarter, oh, three quarter inch elk. I think this one's elk. But I like this, the smaller length bristles for scripting. The really long ones, I have to practice with more. I find it a little bit awkward, like trying to script with this really long one. Um, this one, I think, scripts nicely, but that's not a very long one either. Um, that's probably an inch. And I liked which one? I think it was this one that I was using on the jelly plate with the pigments, the dry pigments, spreading them out there. What is the itty bitty one? Yeah, the itty bitty. I have an itty bitty. I got a little itty bitty. This is it right here. That's what that is. Thank you. I knew I had this one. I wasn't sure what it was. This was this one is an itty bitty. It comes down to a chiseled, like, one hair point. Um, and I always ask him for longer handles. They He can make them, like, four to eight inches, depending on the bamboo that he has. But there's a comment box next to where you order. And you can tell him in the comment box. I always say I prefer about an eight-inch handle. And you can these aren't because they don't come that way. But these he sent me. I didn't order these. But the ones that I ordered are long, the longer handles. You can go, yes, you can get a longer handle. You can go really big. Like this one is a large goat and synthetic blend. And this one's $100 for this brush. I love these with these natural little sticks and stuff on them. I got a few of them that are like that. I just like them because they're so, they're odd. They're just really cool, natural, all natural. Like my Silver Fox ones like that too. Um. But this, you know, this would be good for making, for doing really big scripts, big fat, you know, circles or big, big scripting on the jelly plate or whatever. But anyway, there you go. I just wanted to show you his brushes again. Um, they're really like works of art. They're really cool what he has to go through. And you read the process of what he does with the bamboo and, you know, how it's harvested and the different kinds and, and uh, how he polishes it. And I mean, it's, it's, it's. It's a lot of work. It's not just, you know, and then drilling the hole in the end of it and hoping it doesn't crack. And then you you finally get one that works and then you got to try to put the hairs in there individually to get them tapered the right way. And, you know, it's a pretty cool process. So anyway, there you go. I wanted to share those with you guys again and um, use the coupon code PATTI, P-A-T-T-I, for 20% off. Um for anything that you buy there. And uh, I want to try to help him out. He was, all of his shows that were coming up in the show season got canceled. He had flown to Atlanta. I saw him in Baltimore in February. And then he flew to Atlanta in March 
for a show and was at the hotel getting ready to go to the venue to set up and they canceled it because of COVID and everything's been canceled ever since. So he is limited to his online sales for his family's income. And uh, so anyway, if you want an artisan brush, that's the place to go. They're awesome. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to run. It's my Klondike time too. Actually, I'm more of a bowl of vanilla with some M&Ms thrown in, girl. My ass shows you that. <laughs> so Eileen, remember, you're my favorite and I love you. And I admire everything that you do. And I think you're a beautiful, lovely woman and a really great mod. And very generous. I remember you being very generous. So I just thought I'd finish with that. <laughs> oh, God. All right. See you guys. Have a great night. I'll be back when I can be back. <laughs> Don't roll on the floor, Eileen. You might hurt yourself before you send me some of those stamps. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you soon. Bye.